Hey friends, it's Laura and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a fun video for you. Throughout the last year, I have been working on 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts of my baby niece. So last year when my baby niece was born, I took my sister a 12 by 12 scrapbook and I also had a couple of pages started inside of it. And today I'm going to share another stack of layouts that I've made that I'm going to give to her the next time that I see her, the next time I go down to Florida. So the first one we have is this beautiful pinwheel layout. I absolutely adore this layout. It's one of my favorites. And I really need to try this pinwheel technique again on a layout that I'm going to be keeping because I love how it turned out. I love all the messy splatters and the little gemstones and the enamel dots and brads. The whole thing is so cute. And most especially those photos of my baby niece in the pool. So here's one layout I'm going to be giving my sister. And these are not in chronological order, like when they were taken, but when I actually made them. So we have this one, and there is a process video for this one on my YouTube channel, so I will link that down below, and you can subscribe to my channel, check out my scrapbooking playlist. There are so many beautiful layouts there, including this one. The second layout that we have is this beautiful Christmas one, and I did a grid layout using some black and white photos of my baby niece and lots of little embellishments and stuff from my stash, and you can see there are two empty spots here where my sister can do journaling. Here's another Christmas one. I really love this one. It's got the Merry Christmas. And I've had this paper in my stash for years. So I was really happy to finally use it. And I have all of these black and white and gray little paper strips behind here. Lots of little stickers. K and K because my sister's name is Kendra and her daughter's name is Kimberly. And yeah, lots of little stickers and so beautiful. And this one, the black background and the black and white photo really do the talking. It didn't need a whole lot of embellishing because it was already so beautiful. And then to go with that layout, we have this one right here. And this one says cheer. And then I use those same stickers from this one to say baby girl and mom. And then lots of stickers here and yeah, used up lots of cute little stickers from my stash, some little paper scraps. Love how that turned out. And again, these photos just do all the talking. They're so beautiful. Then we have another two page spread here. And that's what this looks like, if you can see that. And I do have process videos for both of these pages on my channel. I made them at the same time. So you can actually watch a process video of me making both of these layouts at the same time. And I love them. They've got the beautiful little clouds here and the golden stars, the beautiful photos I took of my sister and my baby niece right after she was born. And I love it. They're so pretty. And this was a scrap my stash challenge that I did. I used up tons of stuff from my stash making these layouts. And yeah, I will link that process video down below. Then we've got this layout. There is also a process video for this one on my channel. I will link down below. And if you watched my decluttering my alphabet stickers, this is where I used those pink sparkle stickers that I think are beautiful. I used them on a layout of my baby niece here that I'm going to be giving to my sister. And I decided that I was actually gonna give those alphabets to my sister as well because she can use them throughout the remainder of her baby's album. And this is the only time I've ever used them in all the years I've had them. So that's a fun little tidbit there. Used up tons of things from my stash, including all of these rubber embellishments. Another double page spread here. These are probably my least favorite layouts I've ever made. Yeah, I just feel like there's not a whole lot going on. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I should add some paint splatters and that would really liven these layouts up. So yeah, I used some cute stickers here, documented the day of her birth. So we have tons of photos here. These are all of her and her dad. These are the hospital bracelets for everyone. And yeah, I did lots of documenting there, left this blank so my sister could fill it in. And she can also add journaling anywhere that she wants it. 
Then we have this layout of my baby niece and her dad. And I did this hand lettered title here, used lots of cute little stickers on it. And I did lots of layering with paper scraps here for this layout. And this is a burden of love layout. I took so long to hand stitch all of these florals around the photo. I did a really beautiful hand stitch frame with all these different colors. And then I used a big sticker and some butterflies here. This was another scrap my stash challenge. As you can see, most of these ones of my baby niece were scrap my stash challenge busters that I did. I used up tons of stuff from my stash to make these layouts and I was so happy about it. Then we've got this having a baby announcement layout. So this will go in the beginning of her album before the other layouts that are actually in there right now that she already has. And these are her first ultrasound photos and left lots of room here for her to journal her feelings and thoughts and all that stuff. We have another one of my all-time favorite layouts here. I absolutely adore this layout. All the florals, the little sequins, all the little glitters, the title, the photo that I took of my baby sister for her maternity session, and all these little dragonflies. This was using mostly Maggie Holmes Flourish, and this was a scrap my stash challenge that I did. And I do have a process video for this page too on my channel, so I will link that down below. And I just, I love this layout so much. It's so feminine. Here's another layout that has a process video on my page. And I used up some paper scraps here to make this title. And there is a process video for this. I will link that down below. I love this photo of my baby sister. Again, another one I took of her when she was pregnant. Got some journaling here. Used up lots of chipboard around this layout and tons of brads, as you can see. And this is a double page layout here. So my sister can have both of these facing each other in the album. And this is just documenting my sister and I together at that park. Used up a lot more chipboard, some bows, paper scraps, more brads and enamel dots again. Some more chipboard here, some paper scraps. And you can see I included a lot of the same papers on this side of the page as I did on the other side of the page. And that really ties them in together. So you can tell they were meant to be a double page layout. And then these photos were taken at the same time. This is one of both of us. And then that's one that I took of her in the same park that we went to together. So that is all of the layouts. I hope you enjoyed this flip through of all of the layouts that I've made for my baby niece and my sister's album recently. And I hope you check out the process videos down below that interest you. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my fun scrap my stash and memory keeping projects that I share with you. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.